James Patrick Holding, one of the most hateful and malicious Christians ever to be in the atheist genre of YouTube, a person or even Dr. Richard Cervantes Carrier called Nefarious, crawled out from under his rock of defending derivative and cliche Christian nonsense about virgin births, beings rising from the dead, sons of God, and miracle performances to step into what I personally consider is my area of expertise, which is cosmology, and the results are pretty bad. Mr. J.P. Holding blunders into claiming that if God does not exist, we have to say one of two things. The universe made itself at some point, or that time has always been going infinitely into the past. If Mr. Holden was properly educated on cosmology and the philosophy of time, he would know that there are more than two options. We can easily account for an eternal universe that does not entail an infinite amount of time by using a B theory of time, or using a T-symmetric temporality on the quantum regime, what I sometimes call discrete temporality. My favorite and preferred methodology, however, is to be a relationist to time. Essentially, a temporal relationist holds that time does not exist in and of itself, but rather is a relational attribute of things that exist, and is instantiated by the relations between some given entities, set to a standard of temporal measure. But since the universe subsumes all of time, the universe itself cannot have any standard of temporal measure that places it in a temporal relationship. Thus, time is in the universe, but the universe itself is not in time. Further, since time does not exist as a substance in and of itself on relationism, it no longer has a linear progression that causes the problem of infinite time on an eternal universe.